much. Uh, so once again, Marco, Polo. And actually, I am going to switch uh, to the point of view of uh, IDF Uno because I am using uh, a lot of DOC. My villagers and scout are not going to be idle. So I can keep talking about my AI. And as you can see, he is going the, in the circular direction. Uh, this time, actually again, this time. And what happened now is it reached a place that is tight or something like this. And the direction has changed. I have a rule that changes the direction. If the scout gets to an unlucky position like tight spaces or something else. It's not perfect, but it does its job. And because of that, he is not stuck. He keeps scouting. I don't know why he hasn't seen this one, but I don't think it's an issue. Um, IDF is not bugged this time. His scout is still going. So yeah, um, the scout keeps scouting. And actually, I think I am going to get most of the sheep. Not this one, sadly, but these should be captured. And since we are already past the two minute mark, he is going right after uh, pushing the deer. I hope this forest will not end up being... Oh wait, I actually missed. So yeah, um, if I don't change the direction of scouting right now, I should. No, maybe. Okay, looks like I have changed the direction of... No, actually, sheep has scouted um, the deer, so I am going to lure them. And luckily, I captured both of them. So now I just hope that it doesn't get stuck, because I have no code to uh, prevent being them being stuck. It looks like the first one is going fine. Uh, the unfortunate thing is the fact that I haven't seen this boar fast enough, so I am not going to capture this one. I only ended up having one uh, boar. This is another thing that I'm going to work on, improve the boar luring, because right now it works like this. If I spot a uh, Rhino, the town center is going to put its um, gather point on this uh, animal. So if I don't spot it, I don't use the gather point on the on the rhino in this case. So all I am left is getting those. I'm using town center to move five villagers fast, but because of this, I might be actually delayed. So let me see. And. Actually, I might be fast enough, because this is the last villager. Let's see. Yep. So what I'm doing is uh, food drop. Mm, all my villagers are going to drop food. All villagers in group 1 are going to drop food if uh, they have, together with already stored food, 500 food. So I can instantly uh, add feudal age to my queue. And then the groups get shuffled a little bit. Uh, I get less villagers on food. I put some of them in the on the wood, the one that is close to the TC. Some on gold, even though uh, there is no mining camp yet. And one of them builds the uh, the barracks because this building is actually really important for Sun Tzu. So let me check uh, IDFK. Looks like his units are not bugged and his scout is still moving, so we will continue this game. Um, what you haven't seen is the fact that uh, Sun Tzu, actually I can show this, uh, Sun Tzu is going in the... the direct, and he scouts like this, he goes for the opposite point and then goes um, um, to the edges actually and then goes back once again if that's needed, but if he spots any building, he starts to circle that building, and once he uh, spots enemy town center, he is going to circle enemy town center. And actually, that's it. <laughs> um, right now, my scout 
has only this task to push deer to find enemy and keep scouting his town center in the meantime the three uh, militia are going forward and if I have enough food I am going to research men at arms but it looks like that boar affected my uh, research and what now is going to happen uh, if my army goes too close to the TC to its um, range I am going to uh, send them back a little bit and everything that happens right now is totally uh, default. I do not use DUC for anything, I just go for men at arms and I send them forward, one after another. Um, I am using a little bit of escrow so I can train more villagers. Now I could train another men at arms, but I assume that echo is more important. And actually, since this behavior is default, uh, this is default, so the, the man at arm didn't fight back the scout. And I actually am going to miss this tower. But my echo is um, not f perfectly balanced, but I tried to make it as smooth as possible to keep producing both villagers and um, army. But it still has a little bit of a hole right now. All these villagers that were harvesting berries are going to become lumberjacks. So for a brief moment, I am not going to produce army because I won't have enough food. But the army keeps doing its job, although it's a little bit default. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. Marco... Polo. Because right now IDF is building their towers, right? Although, um, looks like he didn't have enough stone. So there's only one tower for now. And I'm not sure if he managed to... Yes, uh, the if, um, if my army gets too close to the town center, they go a little bit back. And after this... Yes, uh, Uno does the same thing as DOS. From what I remember, Electricity said that his DOS is an improved version of Uno. Uh, so, yeah, he actually does the same thing. So, at this point, uh, let me see, because I think IDF has no... Yeah, he has a little bit... Just tiny bit of villagers. If I get this one down... I think I can call it a GG. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to ever find this one. He's going after this gold, so... Yeah, he, actually I should get him down. Am I? <laughs> no, actually not. Since, uh, since Red mm, Scout has died, the villager is now the scout, so... Yeah, I think we can call it a GG. Yeah, and next yeah, let's go for game number two. And let me turn off the wait, I can't really turn off the mouse. Marco Polo. And once again I'll change to IDF uh, point of view so I can see if he gets his units idle. Um give me a second, I need to answer for something and let's see Th this time my forests are further apart so i should be able to spot both um uh, elephants and with this i should have much uh, smoother echo mm, wait a second Okay, I'm almost there. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, it, it would be nice if electricity could work, could tell a little bit more about his AI. But um, 
this time uh, i mean first time i bit i've been a little bit lucky because i managed to spot some of those villagers that were going forward i need to say that i don't really know how my ai would react to towers since i am using only default um attack move uh, attack now and uh, an metc retask i can't really tell what would have happened and now um Looks like I have both elephants. And again, and they are targeting the food source that is uh, the closest to run out. And right now I'm using five villagers per uh, deer and seven villagers per uh, boar, elephant and so on. Looks like there are no idle villagers. And it's interesting, but it seems like his forests are actually closer to him compared to mine but i don't mind it's it's totally okay so yeah elephant deer is going to be killed once it gets close enough and again five villagers are going after it and now elephant has less food than zebra so more villagers are gathering from elephant but once it runs out they are going to be retasked to the other sources again. And to avoid bumping, I try to retask villages based on the distance to the source of food. And yes, uh, well, it would be really nice if he was would be there. He would definitely be able to tell us a little bit because I'm actually curious if he is going to make uh, uno, dos, tres, and so on, increasing the the number and increasing the rules. Because from what I remember, um, he only has like 50 rules for this AI. I might be wrong, but I think he had like a hundred rules for dos. And uh, yeah, this time I've been lucky enough to have both boars. So let me swap a little bit for my AI. And you can see that they uh, stop and continue because these groups are not balanced yet. Um, let me see Kimberly. Next AI is going to be Silver Tongue against Soldier. And I think I will need to contact Toby because I don't really know what saves he wants to play. So um, one thing that I want to mention is that I am almost at fuel age and I already have 300 food. And I think a lot of this is, part, uh, is due to the fact that I try to balance my uh, food. So this is one of the features I am mostly proud of, um, getting this food balance right. It felt so good when it worked. Looks like I have found an enemy, and I just want to see if he is going to send his villagers forward. Let me swap and see. He's going for a 21 pop feudal age, but looks like he had some issues with food. But I don't really remember. Okay, he is going after the elephant. But only two of those might hurt. Okay, more of them are going after the elephant. But I am already attacking, so let me swap. Um, because of the boar, I can continue the production of men at arms. I already have uh, men at arms upgrade, and more of them are coming. Although, like I mentioned before, I'm going to eventually run out of berries, and there will be a time when I don't really can uh make more of them only only uh villagers like now but i think i hope i mean i hope to improve this at some point i can see a lot of red looks like um idf has stolen my sheep and he's going to build a tower although i got lucky enough to deny his uh stone so most likely he's going to get one tower and that's it 
And actually, I got rid of his scout. But yeah, it would be really interesting if he would get more towers because I don't really know what would have happened. What would happen? And for now, um, because of this retasking from enemy town center, they are more or less going in the circular direction. And it's constant, I don't really change it, because it was a simple quick fix. So IDF is going to have his first tower, but without stone, he is not going to make more. Um, these are sent because of the gathering point. So uh, they are not going to fight enemies along their way. So yeah, it's essentially just a uh, minotaur spam right now. So yeah, I was lucky to have this stone in range and the default behavior of my minotaur is going to kick in. And sometimes this behavior is enough to defeat HDAI. Because I have the advantage and I keep uh, improving it. For some reason I have no food. Alright, this is the, the moment when berries run out and most of the villagers go after wood. While if I had if I have wood I'm building more and more farms, but what is currently not implemented is the fact that these farms are built by the farmers. So I essentially keep building farms, but I have no food income at all because they all become builders. But yeah, it's a lot of farms. So the echo is not balanced yet. Uh, I am even going to have idle TC for a second or two. But yeah, it's good enough to to fight some enemies. Let me see how many villagers are left. So this one is the scout and this one is pretty safe for now. These are safe. Actually he has farms, but hmm, I am not sure if I should continue with this game. Because I am not going to catch this one, right? Am I? I don't think so. And he actually has no more. So yeah, all he has are four villagers. And no food income apart from this little guy. There's only three of them left. And I think I might be more or less trying to reach... Uh, Castle Age. I mean, with this many farms, <laughs> sooner or later I'll get there, right? Even if I spam infantry. So, uh, from what I have counted, all I need is 14 or 16 food villagers. And this is enough to sustain production of both villagers and men at arms. I mean, um, we already know what that uh, IDF is not going to make it because all he does is do uh, making these towers, and he's not going to get any more because my my guy is still circling his city, and if the villager is going to leave, uh, he is going to get killed. So yeah, I think. Um, we can call it uh, GG because at this point I am almost at the castle age click up and I am going to get siege so yes they could almost uh, kill the TC because there's only a little like two villagers inside uh, they could go all in but I don't really turn off the, the behavior of avoiding TC uh, range and as you can see it's not really perfect because my units sometimes stay in the range uh, so yeah they're going to keep dancing destroy the last houses and 
I should get a uh, castle age pretty soon. Because after we battle and 50 villagers, I am going to research castle age. Then I'm going to get more stuff, mainly siege, so I can get rid of uh, towers, castles, town centers. So yeah, mm, it's pretty shame because I really had hoped to show you more what Sun Tzu can do, but I guess we will just wait for his next games. So yeah, I think we can call it a GG. Because all he has left is this blacksmith, one tower, and two villagers that are hiding inside, and I am getting re more researches. So yeah, I would call it a GG.